A man cannot govern a nation if he cannot govern a city. He cannot govern a city if he cannot govern a family. He cannot govern a family unless he could govern himself. And he cannot govern himself unless his passions are subject to reason, end quote. So I'll repeat that one more time. Quote, a man cannot govern a nation if he cannot govern a city. He cannot govern a city if he cannot govern a family. He cannot govern a family unless he can govern himself. And he cannot govern himself unless his passions are subject to reason. End quote. So in this regard, I should be pointing out that why did Krishna descend in this world? To chastise leaders whose passions aren't reasonable. Paritra naya sadhu nam vinashaya chaduskritam dhamma samstapana artaya sambhava me yuge yuge. So another word for reason or reasonable is thoughtful. And the opposite of thoughtful is thoughtless, right? And so we see in this particular pastime that Krishna represents a thoughtful leader who teaches us what to do. Whereas Jarasandha represents a thoughtless leader who teaches us what not to do. So what's the difference between a thoughtful leader and a thoughtless leader? A thoughtful leader says, I have to make the right decision. A thoughtless leader says, whatever decision I make is right. Guru Nasasya Swajano Nasasya Pita Nasasya Janani Nasasya Daivam Natasya Napatisha Sasya Namochayaya Samu Petam Ritum. So, this is a very nice and famous verse from the Bhagavatam from the fifth cancel, chapter 5, verse 18. And it says that one, should not, one is not a qualified guru, spiritual master, Pita, father, Janani, mother, Pati, husband or a daivam, a demigod, if he thinks whatever decision I make is right. And so we see that a qualified leader, they're very thoughtful. So therefore they think I have to make the right decision. So they're very contemplative. They just don't react. Like normally as conditioned souls, there's a saying, a popular saying that we could either, whatever circumstances come our way, we could either react or respond. And just like the other day, there was a nice quote I was mentioning. It says, responsibility or the ability to choose your response is about making a conscious action, not an unconscious reaction. So usually when we're confronted with provoking situations, we just react. We don't think. We don't think before we speak or act. So there's another saying. It says, people demand freedom of speech as a compensation for the freedom of thought which they seldom use. <laughs>